It's been a couple of months since the last event, but we're returning with four tournaments in the next week. The Rose Lady Series is back with a bang. Four events were played in April and May, with Gabriella Cowley victorious at West Lanx, Liz Young taking the spoils at Woburn, Becky Brewerton rediscovering that winning feeling at Brockenhurst Manor, and Cowley claiming her second trophy of the season in blustery conditions at the Berkshire. There are still seven events to go this year, and we'll be visiting some magnificent venues, including Royal Birkdale, JCB Golf and Country Club, North Hants, and the final at Burwood Lakes. But we get things back underway at Hillside in Southport. What a venue it is. It's one of the finest Lynx courses in England, and it hosted the British Masters on the European Tour in 2019. Rachel Drummond can't wait to get out there with a card in her hand. You can't replicate tournament golf, so having these in the middle is, is, is amazing. Um, and we get to play some unbelievable golf courses, which which you don't get to play every day, so no, it's great. The sun's shining and the course is in superb condition. Sophie Powell's a member here and she knows just how special this layout is. It is very good, the back nine. And to be fair, the changes that they have done on the front nine makes, it's, it has improved the front nine a lot. And the front nine still amazes as well, but yeah, the back nine is every tee step shot that you stand on, you're just like, this is good. Brewerton is keen to kick on from her win and she's hoping a bit of local knowledge can make the difference today. I've played it twice before, once was about five years ago and a couple of weeks ago as well with a member, which was nice. So I've got a bit of inside info. I feel like I know my way around and he's got in for me today as well. So uh, I think we'll do all right. The course and players are ready for the fifth event of the 2021 Rose Lady Series. The sun was shining and there were excellent scoring conditions as the players headed off the first tee. Sarah G turned pro last year after going to Tarleton University in Texas. She traded a birdie two with a bogey at three before this fine approach on the first of the short holes. It would only lead to a par though as she went out in 37. Keely Chiricato got under the card early she curled this one in at dead weight for birdie on the par five second hole. She'd had another birdie and three bogeys to reach the turn in one over par. Hillside member Powell made a slow start on her home track with drop shots at three, five and eight. But she would steady the ship with this wonderful approach shot at the ninth. Wasn't the start Brewerton was hoping for either as she found herself two over par when she reached the ninth. And she'd get one back after this super putt for a rare birdie on this tricky hole. Back on the first hole, Gemma Clues, who finished second in the season opener at West Lanx, hit the ground running. shot got ever better and she was just an inch or two away from holding out her approach before tapping in for a birdie three and the ideal start. Lauren Horsford was out early and making headway. An eagle at two and a birdie at five were balanced with bogeys for an even par front nine. This tee shot would set up par on ten and birdie four on the next hole got her back under par. It's a tightly packed leaderboard with five players at one under. Horsford, only three holes left to play now. There's a long way to go for the others. Let's join Clues on the 10th tee here. Lovely little par three, just 135 yards. Oh, that's superb. She's nearly slam dunked that one. Gets it to stand to attention pretty quickly behind the hole as well. That is a fantastic opportunity for her to get to two under par. Playing alongside her, Sophie Stone. 
Well, can she match or even better her playing partner? She looks interested. And every right to be another fantastic tee shot here at the 10th. These girls pushing each other along. Back to Powell, four over. But a great chance to get one back here on the par five. This is the third shot into it. Yeah, controls that very nicely as well. Yeah, she's smiling. Yeah, that is Becky Brewerton just behind that mound. Third shot here also on the par five, 11th. A little bit out of position to the right. She bumps that one up there. That's pretty well judged. These putting surfaces here at Hillside are slick, especially if you leave yourself above the hole. Can Stone make the most of that fantastic tee shot and get back to level par? Great. Well, absolutely she can. Lovely stuff. And she's right there in contention. Great to see the crowds back out as well, of course, now. Very appreciative. Clues to follow her playing partner in. Bit of break from this right to left. Oh, look like cellophane bridge. Looked like it had to drop. And now Powell. She, of course, went round the Rose Lady series in a camper van when it was down in the south last year. And that one is in. She's back to three over par. <laughs> Trying to get herself going a bit there. It's probably the biggest, biggest swing she's had with that putter all day. Brewerton now, of course, two-time Solheim Cup player. She was delighted to get back in the winner's circle earlier this year, but that one will not drop for her. She's been a very consistent performer on the Rose Lady series this season. Always seems to get herself up on the leaderboard, relying on huge amounts of experience. And that's the leaderboard from today here at Hillside, Horsford. Still up there, but well, that is packed, isn't it? Five of them all on one under par. We join Horsford here on the 16th tee. What kind of number can she post in the clubhouse for the others to chase? This 16th is just one of a number of fantastic holes on this inward half. Hillside is widely regarded as having one of the best back nines in the whole of the UK. When you get up to this 11th tee, you have got fantastic views. You can see Royal Birkdale, the clubhouse there. It's iconic over my shoulder on a clear day in that same direction. You can even see Blackpool Tower and the Big Dipper roller coaster. But when you're playing, you want to be keeping your eye firmly on the golf course. 493 yards this par 5, 11th, a great scoring opportunity. That bunker on the left, 258 to run into it, 263 if you want to take it on and carry it. The one on the right, that's 311 to run into it. Find the short stuff though and it is reachable in two. A really good eagle or birdie opportunity as you get yourself onto this stunning back nine here at Hillside. Clues is one of those ladies in that tie for the lead at one under par. But as we've said, this 11th, a great opportunity. She's done the first bit, found the fairway. This is the second shot. Get up there. Yeah, it's an absolute peach. She's on in two. She will have that for Eagle to get to three under par. Brogan Townend playing alongside her. She lost out in the playoff a little earlier this season at Brockenhurst Manor. She's having a crack as well. Can she follow suit? Oh, no. That looks nasty up there. That's going to be off of a downslope. Could be in the thick rough as well. So we jump ahead to Horsford. One under par. We saw the tee shot end up down the right-hand side. She's got plenty of green to work with. Oh, that's a delightful little chip. Just shows the benefit of leaving yourself on the correct side if you are going to miss any of the greens around here at Hillside. 
Sophie Stone had to lay up on the 11th. Can she make her birdie the old-fashioned way? Oh, she's given herself a fantastic chance there with about six foot. Yeah, looking very cool, calm and composed. Brogan Town End, on the other hand, is not where you want to be. Oh, my word. Oh, she's holding it. That is absolutely incredible. From position Z to the bottom of the hole. And Brogan Town then makes Eagle to jump back to one over par. Horsford, we saw the good chip. Can she tidy up for her par here from about three feet to stay at one under and firmly in the race? She certainly can. Great background story. Only took her three years to go from a three handicapper to a ladies European tour card. Clues, well, she thought she might have the only eagle on this hole, but this is to join her partner, Townend. Oh, it just slides by. Left herself one of those, though. It's not dead. But still a great opportunity to take the lead. Well, the fans are certainly enjoying it, and why not? We've seen a great hole here. And Stone for her birdie to get under the card. In it goes, a little lean again. We saw it earlier on. She uses a bit of body angle to work those putts in and it seems to be doing the job for her. She is one under par now, Stone. Well, that's where Clues is, but she's got this putt to get into the lead on two under. In it goes, well, that's stunning. Four under par for the three ladies in this group on the 11th. We said it would provide opportunities and it certainly did. Clues has got Samantha Giles for company at the top of the pack. Giles won the Royal Birkdale Ladies Scratch Trophy in 2015. She's picked up birdies at the third and the fifth holes already today. But just like that fella, there are plenty of players patiently waiting to seize their opportunity. Who's going to take advantage of a stunning day at Hillside and win this Rose Ladies Series title? Powell was out in 39 strokes. Another shot would go on the 10th before her first birdie of the day on 11 got momentum back in her favour. And she picked up a second birdie courtesy of this putt on 14. Three-time Ladies European Tour winner Brewerton followed a bogey at 10 with five pars in a row. She played this quality tee shot on 16 but would have to settle for yet another par with a two putt to remain at two over par. The early leader, Horsford, kept herself in the hunt for a first Rose Lady Series win with pars at 16 and 17. However, a drop shot on the 392 yard closing hole gave her a level par 72. It was better news for Stone who surged into contention with her third birdie of the back nine on 13 to get to two under. She made a disappointing double bogey on 15, but fired straight at the flag to bounce back with another two on 16. Playing alongside her, Clues was maintaining her advantage though. This four footer for par kept her one ahead of her playing partner before she really took the tournament by the scruff of the neck with birdies at 13 and 15 to get to minus four. 26-year-old, whose boyfriend Tom Murray is also a tour professional, gave herself another great look for birdie on 16. Super tee shot, but she couldn't convert and would stay four under with two holes left to play. That total gives her a three-shot cushion over Stone and Thailand's at Prachaya Ubol. Bowers and Giles are four shots back with eight holes of their rounds remaining. Gemma Clues at four under, our leader. The approach to the 17th hole, it's the par five. 491 yards. Oh, well, I think she might have just got lucky, or is that gonna filter back into the bunker? Yes, it does. For a moment, she'd have thought she got away with it, but as is often the case on these links courses, those bunkers, they tend to gather the ball. Chiricato here with her third shot into the 18th. She's 
been out of position, but can she get up and down to close things out? And that's a superb touch. Yeah, well worthy of the smile. Clues did find that bunker, but if she can get up and down, that will take her to five under par, which is a very commanding total. Just a little shy with that one, but she's still got the, the chance. Doesn't look too impressed with it, though. Powell, can the home favourite finish off with a birdie? She's had plenty of support. Can she get them clapping on 18? Oh, yes, she can. Just catches enough of the right side. That's a lovely finish for her. 74, two over par. It's a fair bit of right to left on this for clues for her birdie at 17. And she's just slightly under borrow. That went pretty hard left pretty early. But not too much damage done at this stage. She does have that little cushion at the top of the leaderboard. Brewerton for birdie on 18. Not quite to be. But our winner from Brockenhurst Manor will tap in to finish off her round. That's a 74 to match playing partner Powell. Another really good day for Brewerton though, who also finished second at the Berkshire and in a tie for fourth at West Lanx. Stone now, can she save her par on the penultimate hole? Oh, she can't. The body language didn't quite do enough for her on that time. It just catches the right lip. She will drop back into a gaggle of golfers on level par. Still got a bit of work to do on 18 though. Gemma Clues to tidy up her par, maintain the cushion at the top. And she does, very nicely done. She looks to be in cruise control at the moment. Just a little smile there, perhaps thinking of what might be coming her way. Rachel Drummond, it's not been the day she would have wanted. She's missed the green here on 16. Oh, but just like that, she's back to six over par. It's always the way in golf, isn't it? There's always a good shot late on that keeps you coming back for more. <laughs> And that was a fantastic chip in birdie there for Rachel Drummond on 16. Clues has one hand on the trophy with a four shot lead as she heads to her final hole. A few of the chasing packs still have holes left though. Let's have a look at the 16th. It's a two tier green, so it's vital you get your tee shot all the way to the back pin on the top tier. And that's where we find Sarah G three over par but just three shots out of that tie for second as things stand Ooh, she might find herself a little bit closer to it that's a stunner only about six feet for her birdie there on 16 sophie stone up 18 oh, she did drop the shot on 17 she'll be looking to get back thought she might have been in the bunker but she's not she's short of it makes this approach a lot easier. She has taken advantage of it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, pin height. About 12 feet for a closing birdie. Oh, Gemma Clues, she's found a little bit of trouble down the right-hand side with her tee shot. She does have shots to play with, but no pro ever likes a bogey on the card, and that is judged fantastically. False front on the green there. She had to carry it. She did exactly that. Yeah, it was perfect. It came out really good as well. Yeah, really good. Yeah. She was clearly pleased with that, and rightly so. Amy Walsh has a chance at a top five finish on plus two, and she's got a birdie opportunity from the apron on 16. She gave it a good old try. She's fired it a couple of feet past, though. As you can see, G just putting her ball down for her birdie. Aiming just left, a little bit of break on this one. Oh, but she coaxes that in confidently and she gets back to plus two.
Just tidying up there. Her playing partner stays at plus two, Walsh. So those two with a fast finish could get themselves some money today. Sophie Stone with this birdie try on 18. Can she get herself out of the log jam at level par? No, she can't. That's a frustrating one. Had the line, didn't quite have the pace. So very crowded at level par. Gemma Clues. Well, surely she's got the trophy wrapped up. But can she give herself the dream finish? Get the crowd on their feet. Oh, yes, she can. It was never anywhere else but going in the cup. There's a five under par total there. The smile comes across the face. A hug from the caddy. That is a wonderful day's work. A 67 here at Hillside. Stone just to tidy up for her 72. That's job done. She's second place at the moment. So Gemma Clues. She's had a fantastic day. She's been trending in the right direction all year. She's got her hands on the trophy here. Clues had the title wrapped up, but let's have a look at some of the other high finishers. Giles dropped a shot at the 15th before making a par on 16. She bogeyed 18 to sign for a 73. Trichat Chinglav recovered well from a double bogey on the second. And this birdie four on 17 would get her to level par or a closing bogey saw her finish on one over. 25-year-old G completed her flying finish by pouring in this 15-footer on 18 to close out her round with three birdies in a row. That late thrust secured an excellent 72. Confirmation then that it's a dominant five-shot victory for Gemma Clues, conquering the wonderful hillside in just 67 strokes. Horsford, Stone and G shared second spot on level par. Kate Rose presented the winner with her well-earned trophy. It feels really good. Um, I played really nice, which helped and took advantage of a few holes where I hit it quite long. So uh, she played really nice, hold, hold a few putts, which always helps and uh, just enjoyed it. It was really good out there, so it was nice. It's a huge result for Clues, who's been working in a warehouse to fund her golf. I finished there about three weeks ago, so I worked there for six or seven months, uh, just through the winter and whatever, just get a bit of money in. But um, I actually quite enjoyed it, to be honest. Uh, brings you back down to earth a little bit and makes you appreciate playing golf for a job, really, which has been nice. It's been nice to get back out. After the round, the members celebrated 100 years of the ladies' section at Hillside, and the champion popped in with Kate Rose to show off her new trophy. That's it from a fantastic day of action here at the glorious hillside. Gemma Clues was the star of the show. Her stunning 67 earned her the £10,000 winner's check and that sought after Rose Lady Series trophy. Tomorrow, it's a very short trip to Royal Birkdale for our second event of this week. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you there.